Hey everybody, how you doing? Five weeks to go until Manchester Marathon. Oh, you don't need to see that. So a bit of a late first update this week. It's big mileage weeks now. It's getting dark in the evening, so it's a bit more difficult to fit the video in. There we go. So yeah, it's Friday. It's half past seven in the morning. I'm just fitting in a quick three mile recovery run after quite a hectic week. Um, just to put a little bit of recovery in the legs after the last few runs. Uh, so Monday was a rest day. Tuesday, uh, 10 miles, easy pace, 8.30s. Wednesday was a half marathon, three mile warm up. No, sorry, mile and a half warm up, mile and a half cool down, and then 10 miles of efforts, basically. Six by 10 minutes at or slightly above marathon pace with three minute fast recoveries. And then Thursday, club run, four miles, just keeping the group together. So lots of miles this week, but feeling good. Got Dexter on today. Get his walk done with my early run before I go to the dentist and then go to work. Starting late and finishing early today, Friday, so it's a good day. Dexter's just stopped for a wee. And um, I'll just stop for a minute as well. He's having a bit of a sniff. So yeah, the, the big run on Wednesday, uh, the 10 by, six by 10 minutes, one of those runs that I was kind of terrified of again, um, hitting the paces. I don't know why, I know I can hit the paces. My half marathon time from the other week was 7.15 miling. And the target for these six by 10 minutes was 7.15 to 7.20 with three minute recoveries. Um, three minute recoveries at my easy run pace, so about 8.30s. Um, and it's just that constant focus sort of watching the speed changing the speed, picking it up, easing it off. It makes something feel a lot harder for me. Uh, makes a run feel a lot tougher than it is. And so what I planned to do was just go out and back. So I, I did my mile and a half warm up, three times 10 minutes with recoveries out, away from the house. Got me about six and a half miles down the road. And then turn around at the midpoint and come back again. Worked perfectly, nailed all the paces. I think I was 7.15 right the way through to be honest it went really nicely it's tough towards the end the last one is getting quite tough and the heart rate is getting up towards sort of 170 which is above marathon heart rate but it was a great session really enjoyed it didn't start until about half past seven in the evening and finished uh hour and 42 minutes later so that was about quarter past nine so yeah the nights are drawing in now it's dark then so you have to take the head torch and charge that up and running in the dark i've not tried a gopro light unit yet maybe have to consider that but no really pleased how it went um my ankle is hanging on in there at the moment um it, it sort of hurts a little bit or my lower calf my soleus muscle it hurts a little bit when i walk but once i start running it seems to be okay so i'm just crossing everything and hoping we can tick the weeks off um as i said five weeks to go we're nearly there you know this is a 57 57 mile week and there's not going to be much bigger weeks than that, to be honest. It's a, it's a big week tomorrow. So this is a little early three miles, getting out of the way nice and early. Bit of a recovery run, bit of a stretch out. And then tomorrow I've got 21 miles again. Big block, big block marathon pace run tomorrow with pickups. Um, Dex is ready. Let's go again. Yeah, so tomorrow is 21 miles, five miles warm up, then four miles at marathon pace, one mile. 10 seconds quicker and three miles at marathon pace one mile 10 seconds quicker and two miles at marathon pace what's that four five six seven eight nine 
and then another mile pickup, then about a three mile cool down. Works out to be 21 miles. Big old tough run, but looking forward to it. So I'm getting this three miles done nice and early, so I've got a full 24 hours recovery before we start. And that'll get it done before half past 10 in the morning, so I can enjoy the rest of the weekend. Dex is about as wide awake as I am. I really don't run very well for first thing in the morning. I have to be, I've sort of got up, look, here we go. Stopping again, what's up big man? What's the matter? I've sort of got up and had a cup of tea and come out. I need to be a bit more awake than that. I think I need two cups of tea. Come on, come on, a little bit further. We're not going far, don't be. He's scared because there's a big dog down here in the house. <laughs> Let's see if we can't get him moving. Dexter, come on. Yeah, so I need to be a bit more awake than this really to run. But it's only three miles gently, so we'll get it done. Um, which reminds me, I was reading the Manchester Marathon event guide that came through yesterday. And it looks like it's going to be starting between half ten and half twelve on race day, which is perfect for me. So I don't have to get up too early. I've got a hotel fairly close to the start line, so it's not too much of an early rise. Plenty of time to get up, wake up, have breakfast, get myself moving, get myself focused, and not set off before I've woken up. So that's really good news. The other thing I saw in it was that Erdinger also do a grapefruit recovery, non-alcoholic beer. Looking forward to trying that at the finish line. <laughs> left here, Dexter. Look at him, he knows his left and his right. Wait, wait. Okay, Dex, up you go. Tied on a different route today through the church uh, through the church graveyard and back along some little footpaths that Dexter likes look here Dexter right To watch your feet along here. It's a bit of a big drop on the side. And watch your head. This is something that plays havoc with my running confidence. It's an easy three miles recovery pace or warm-up pace they'll also use for tomorrow's 21 miles so today I've just got three miles 830s tomorrow's 21 miles I'm absolutely shattered two miles in absolutely shattered sweating like crazy I'm done I think it's gonna just get up get dressed brush my teeth put my contact lenses in grab a cup of tea and I'm out the door. No breakfast, no time to wake up. Leaves me feel absolutely destroyed. But tomorrow I'll get up probably an hour and a half before my run. Have a shower, wake up. Drink a lot. Eat a fair bit. Have a little sit down. Have another drink. Lay my, lay my drinks out on the run course and I'll go and I'll feel great. But today, oh my God, three miles easy. It's all I can do. Right, let's crack on. Dex is ready, so I better go. The other thing I keep forgetting is to restart my watch when he, whenever he stops. So I've done over two miles, but it looks like I've done about a mile and a half. So I'm just getting changed in the van after finishing my 21 mile run this morning. 
I'm absolutely whacked. I'm done. Tough, tough run this morning. Um, so five miles easy, as I said. Five miles at eight, uh, 722, one mile at 710, four miles at 722, one mile at 710, and then two miles, 722, followed by three miles easy. That was the plan. Um, one of those runs where during the warm up at the beginning, you kind of feel like you've not got it in you, and you think you have to really be mentally tough to be running along at 8.30s thinking I've not got 7.22s in me today but you but you give it a go you know you give it a go and my regular three loop course water bottles out on the way around I tried putting the salt tablets in the water bottles this time because they were giving me a bit of a burning gut when I was swallowing them on the last long run um, seemed to go okay 7.22s I hit all those Bang on, maybe a little bit quicker, 719, 78, 720, I think. Uh, 710, bang on. Felt good, really. Then got back into the 722s after that four mile block. I think I did them all in about 718, 717, so a little bit quicker. Feeling good, and then bang, you just pay for it. Um, suddenly the 710 mile, I did that in probably seven. I might have done 7.10, but I had to empty the tanks to do 7.10. And then two miles at 7.22 at the end. I think I did 7.24, 7.25 for those. And that was hanging on. And then the three mile cool down was proper tough. So I did hit all the splits. I had to have a couple of little, couple of little sit down in the bushes here and there because I had a bit of an upset stomach. So I had to stop and have a little, a little pray, to, pray to the Lord <laughs> in the hedgerows. But, you know, that's just part of getting back up, getting back on with it, being mentally strong, being focused, being determined to, to just grind the miles out one way or the other. And it was windy today. It was hot. It was hotter than I thought it was going to be. I was expecting about 15 degrees and I think it was more like 21 by the end of it. A real grind to get the run finished. But we're done. and I'm heading off now over to a little cafe about 400 metres that way for a catch up with a guy I've been coaching cup of coffee cold drink maybe a little bit of breakfast 21 miles in the tank feeling good uh, this afternoon go and sit and watch my son play football and chill out for the rest of the day whatever you're up to have a good uh saturday i'll catch up with you tomorrow six miles nice and gently tomorrow that'll be tomorrow evening so it'll be about 36 hours recovery after this run but see you on that one so yeah just rounding the week off six miles now bringing up to 57 miles for the week Solid week, feeling pretty good. Bit of a easier recovery week coming up. So 50 miles planned for this coming week. Mostly a minute or so a mile slower than marathon pace. So building on all that endurance I've laid down this week with some easier runs. 22 miles on Sunday, next Saturday. Um, no marathon blocks, just straight through 22 easy miles. Looking forward to that. But yeah, good week this week. Uh, 57 miles, 21 mile long run. We go again. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.